All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting in the Freedom Office. Spent today after I got off of work and uh, organized this thing. Uh, took a pile of crap from over here and I piled it over there just a little bit more organized. So I've got neat piles of crap instead of just piles of crap. Also behind me, I went ahead and uh, threw some of the gear up here uh, because I guess the guys over there to YouTube, they don't like firearms in your videos. And, uh, you know, <laughs> it almost makes sense because they honestly, uh, as of late, were getting a mass shooting or some kind of shooting on a daily basis, uh, simply because there's uh, a new guy in charge. And I don't know why that's happening. Not a conspiracy theorist, but you let me know what your thoughts are down below. Why do you suppose we got so many of these shootings going on now? Uh, another thing we got coming up, check this out. I'm going to put this up. 40 round mag for the uh, 45 ACP. That rare breeze trigger, you know what I'm saying. We're going to be testing that out here in the near future. <laughs> I'm running out of 45. All right, so what are we talking about? I received an article today from a gentleman, Mr. Lofton. Thank you very much. Uh, there's a couple other people that I've got some videos coming out here in the near future. I'm working from home this week, so not a whole lot of range time. Uh, so in any case, uh, Mr. Lofton sent this to me. He is a, a retired gentleman. Uh, 28 years in service, and I can uh, I remember when the blotter would come out on Monday and watching people's names get called. <laughs> Stationed at Fort Bragg, a lot of people like to go down to uh, Myrtle Beach, and sure enough, man, they knew exactly where to send the blotter. <laughs> All right, so anyway, three Army soldiers charged after guns found at Chicago mass shooting traced to illegal weapons pipeline. Now, we're talking about straw purchases. Uh, we already know if you uh, follow this channel or any other channel or you know anything about firearms, that straw purchases are kind of illegal. Okay, so uh, that's one of the reasons why they're trying to get rid of the so-called ghost guns and all the other stuff. But these three jackasses from Fort Campbell, Fort Campbell soldiers, allegedly, allegedly transferred dozens of firearms from Tennessee to, and Kentucky. Let's read this. It comes from the way of the boys over there at Fox News. Three soldiers stationed at Fort Campbell, which straddles Tennessee, Kentucky border, were arrested by federal agents early Tuesday in connection with to the transfer of dozens of firearms. Now, yeah, that's the first question they ask on that line. Are you the actual transferee and purchaser of this firearm? And of course, if you say yes and you lie on that, that's what they use to send your happy ass to jail. Demarcus Adams, 21, Jarius Brunson, 22, and Brandon Miller, 22, were arrested by agents of the ATF and the CID. And that's called the Criminal Investigation Division. Had an interesting story I can tell you guys one of these days when we do a chat about CID. Uh, acting U.S. Attorney Mary Jane Stewart for the Middle District of Tennessee announced the three men, all enlisted members of the U.S. Army stationed at Fort Campbell, a uh, military installation in Clarksville, Tennessee, were charged with transferring a firearm to an out-of-state residence, making false statements, this is where it at, 4473, during the purchase of a firearm, engaging in the business without an FFL, wire fraud, money laundering, and conspiracy to commit Title 18 offenses. Here's the whole thing. If they can, they're going to get you for every little single thing they possibly can find. That way, if something else doesn't stick, they can get you here. But then ultimately, at the end of the day, these knuckleheads, they got caught. And the reason they got caught is probably because they sold their dumbass guns to some idiots up there in uh, Chicago who meant to do harm. Now, people think, well, man, you know what? How, what an easy way to make a living or an extra buck. But now these cats are going to go to federal prison. Uh, maybe up there in Welch, West Virginia, <laughs> the Mitchell County. Uh, never mind. Anyway, if anybody knows about that, let me know. The uh, Chicago Police Department responded to a mass shooting on March 26th that left multiple people wounded and one person dead. I don't know how to call it a mass shooting, but they declared a mass shooting. So anyway, a broader investigation into the firearms transaction records from the FFL in Clarksville region determined that since September 2019, the trio had purchased 91 firearms from multiple FFLs in Clarksville and also from Kentucky Oak Grove Hopkinsville, Fort Campbell, and Boudicca. Uh, the majority of the firearms were purchased during the last five months, according to the criminal complaint. Yeah, see, you're going to uh, catch some attention when you sit over there and start buying a, just an ass load of firearms. I mean... I would consider, you know, one or two a month 
to be uh, good enough for me personally. But these guys over here throwing around 90 in a couple months, the majority of the firearms were purchased in the last five months. A federal search warrant was executed on April 28th at the home of Miller and Adams in Clarksville. Prosecutors said 49 empty firearms cases were recovered. Idiots, get rid of the evidence. I mean, what are you going to use them for? Putting snacks in? I don't know. Many of which were matched to the firearms found in Chicago. The defendants were scheduled to appear before the U.S. Magistrate Judge in Nashville. Tuesday afternoon, the U.S. Attorney Josh Kersman is the prosecuting the case. The defendants could face up to 20 years in prison. So, yeah, man, when they say, uh, is, are you the actual purchaser in this gun for you? And then the, the little girl goes, no, I'm buying it for my boyfriend. And the dealer's just going to go, nope, see you later. So, anyway, I thought that was a pretty interesting story, uh, and it re is relatable to what is going on now and what Joe Biden's trying to do. Uh, the reason they want to limit you to one firearm a month is exactly this reason. People breaking the law. And when people break the law, they make it harder for us to do what we want to do. So with that being said, guys, let me know what your thoughts are down below. Uh, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women, in uniform 24-7 for our freedoms. Freedom is not free. And, you know, I'm not quite referring to these guys in uniform. I'm talking about the guys and girls out there who are going to be on our side when the time comes. And they're out there. Y'all be good. KB32, I'm out. Boom. <laughs>